All right, um, I really do have to go over this before we wrap up the class today. Otherwise, I've written this down and I've never actually finished, finished what we are talking about here. So we spent some amount of time dealing with the torque. And in some future class, we'll you know, deal with some problems that are like a standard strategy. As in, you analyze the net torque and that'll give you some angular acceleration. But as you try to do that, a piece of information you need to get is this quantity that's analogous to mass. And for now, I'll give you the symbol for it, and I'll give you its names. And we'll do a quick exercise that'll hopefully build some intuition for this quantity for you. So the letter we use for this is I. For, I guess, I for inertia. But it's not you know, inertia, because if I just say inertia, that's mass. So it's not inertia inertia that I'm talking about. It's a particular type of inertia. And I will have to tell you that there's two different names for it. They are both commonly used. Um, the second one that I'll give you is a little bit more old fashioned, but I think your textbook still uses it. So you have to know both. So the word I will use most often is this, um, rotational inertia. It's sort of what it sounds like. You know, it's like inertia, but it matters for rotational motion, right? And uh, the other name that's more old-fashioned, but your textbook, I think, uses it, is this name called moment of inertia. So inertia part is clear, what we mean by that. The whole moment thing, I have no idea. All I can tell you is that it has nothing to do with the time doesn't have anything to do with moment of time. Um, it might have something to do, there's a sense of moment that means some kind of weight. There's a, like a, when we do, circ when you do like electrostatics, there's something like multiple moment or like moment of, it's an old fashioned term. But when someone says the word moment of inertia, it means the exactly same thing as rotational inertia. And it means what we are going to refer to with this letter I. So your lab today is actually a lot about rotational inertia. You're going to be dry, uh, measuring some amount of rotational inertia for something. Um, the exercise I want you, to, want you to end the class with, this used to be part of a lab that, sorry. All right, this used to be part of a lab that we are uh, you know, not doing this semester. So this is what I want you to get. Um, let's see, I need to pass this out in an efficient way. Um, yeah, could you, let's, let me do it this way. Um, could you take this, pass the rest of the bag? Let me just get one for Tikal. You will need, uh, each, for each desk, you will need one full ruler. And let me pass out these wooden rollers. So these are half, half meter sticks. Um, for each desk, thank you, Karanji. So for each desk, you will need two of these. And um, yeah, could you pass out the rest? Thank you. So you have maybe a couple minutes or so. In that time, In that time, this is the sense of rotation inertia that I want you to develop. So the rotation inertia, you can get a sense of it by taking this and trying to rotate it. And you know, your thumb doing, your fist doing this versus actually rotating it, this it does take more effort, right? Yes? Now, when you take this, uh, when you take these two rulers, they have about the same mass, right? No, two rulers, two of them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. When you take two of them, then they have about the same mass. And I want you to try this and compare that with this. One should be easier than the other. Yeah? So, you know, I want you to think about, you know, why is it easier to rotate this than this? That's one I want you to think about. The other is even taking this um, same, you know, two rollers, if you change the place where you are holding, and do the same thing, it'll suddenly become harder. So, you know, I want you to just think about, you know, why it's harder. So, um, oh wait, oh, I have two minutes. 
Okay, I think I have, so you know, you can do that for the rest of the class, uh, but um, uh, let me just uh, prepare you for the lab. So for the lab, uh, just so you know, we don't have a formula for rotational inertia yet, but what you do have is you do have a role for the rotational inertia. So here's one role rotational inertia fills. So this is the Newton's second law equation, where this rotational inertia uh, plays the same role that mass plays role. Do you know of any other formulas where mass plays a role? T give me some of the formulas where you see mass in it. Well, we already have that. Momentum, okay, we'll come to that. Some other formula that has mass in it. Kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. So I want you to, because that's what we are going to use for your lab. So you don't know anything about rotation, anything else about rotation inertia yet, except that it's similar to mass. Well, here's a place where mass has a role. Kinetic energy is given by one half times mass times velocity squared. And I'm going to sort of trust um, this picture that I have been building, that there's a relationship between these two, there's an analogy between them. So trusting in that analogy, I have more reason to trust in, in that you guys do. Um, I'm going to guess at this formula for kinet rotational kinetic energy. That rotational kinetic energy is given by one half times something that's analogous to mass, so rotational inertia, times something that's analogous to velocity, or angular velocity, n squared. So this is an expression formula that you are going to take as given for your lab. So starting with this, you are going to make some measurements, and using those measurements, calculate rotational inertia, and from the rotational inertia, see you know, um, how rotational inertia might depend on other quantities. I have a sense it should depend on mass, but it, as you saw with the ruler, it's going to depend on some other quantities. And in your lab, you will measure that quantitatively using some specially made apparatus. Questions, comments? All right, yeah, we have a whole class session devoted to rotation inertia. Um, that's uh, you know, October, uh, October 31st in your uh, schedule, so.